Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine McCoy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for clicking in to drop by, but if you're a returner, it is always nice to have you back. This video I am talking about an event that I went to, did not have to travel far at all, just across the state of Ohio. I was going to the Phi Psi Omega Jazz Brunch and Silent Auction. This is their 21st and I have the program right here. Very nice. And they had me on the program giving greetings. But as you can see, the theme was living our best life back together again. And that makes you think, wow, like we're really getting to a time where we're getting back to normal, a new normal. And people are able to have these large events, these staple, these signature events that pretty much mark the year for some chapters, or at least a certain month, holiday, all those kinds of things. So I'm sure that they were very happy to have this again. And I was happy also to be invited to it, as well as my mom, Rochelle A. McCoy. The day started off by getting up, getting ready, dress, jewelry, makeup, oh, also jewelry, wearing a ring, wearing a bracelet. I did have another bracelet, but that was soon replaced by this beautiful corsage you see and makeup all before 7 a 6 a.m., getting in the car and then driving to the other side of Ohio to be there for the event. But then we actually get there, it was beautiful. We were in the, um, the Mason Manor and it looks very nice, very cute. And we drive up, we get in, we're very early, but that's why we leave at 6 a.m. because you never know if you're gonna hit traffic or if something's gonna happen. And we get in, everything is very nicely decorated. And then we're just waiting for the program to start and we're browsing through the silent auction. Now, I love what they did with this silent auction. They had all the logistics laid out. It was very simple, very easy. You received a, uh, a text message and you had to register. And that text message I assume was linked to whatever you had to do to register for the um, the event, get your ticket, all that kind of stuff. So they sent you a link, they said you had to register for the silent auction, you put in your information, and there were literally more than 150, 200 different things that were being put out in the silent auction. And they had it separated by category, so there was a divide nine category for him, for her, couples, uh, sleep and beauty, kitchenware, electronics. Girl, the electronics that they had were amazing. They had a 65 inch TV. They had a new laptop. They had two Keurigs. They had all of this kitchen appliance. They had a lot going on. They also had purses. So, you know, the purses were hot, but it was excellent. So here are a little bit of videos now showing off the setting of the area, the venue that we were in, as well as some of the uh, silent auction uh, items. <laughs> at the start of the program and my mom was gracious enough to snap a couple of not only pictures but a little bit of video of my greeting and thanks to her you all get to see a little bit of that greeting now to chapter president mrs carolyn patton to all of our divine nine brothers and sisters to other invited guests 
to the lovely ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Greetings. I am Jasmine E. McCoy, the International Second Vice President of the Pretty Girls Wearing 20 Pearls. <laughs> it is an honor to be with you today for the Phi Psi Omega Chapter Jazz Brunch and Silent Auction. So now I ask, who really knows what jazz is? Does anyone have a definition? Jazz is defined as a music genre that originated in the African-American communities in New Orleans, Louisiana in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, with its roots in blues and ragtime. Needless to say, it has been around for a very long time. So I ask, what do you do when listening to jazz music? Are you relaxing with a glass of your favorite adult beverage after a long day of work? Or are you going to a lounge where you can listen and dance the night away with your significant other? Or are you like me, using it as the backdrop for all of your study sessions? I like to think that's how I graduated from Harvard. Regardless, we all have a connection. Today, I would like to recite a poem. We Real Cool by Gwendolyn Brooks. We real cool. We left school. We lurk late. We strike straight. We sing sin. We thin gin. We jazz June. We die soon. This is an ode to things remembered from the black experience in the 1960s. Notice how jazz is mentioned as a prominent part of our culture. After my greeting, we went through some more things on the program, and then it was time for brunch. I had the chicken and waffles. I liked it very much as a Southern girl, being able to have that, it, it's nice being able to have that Southern cuisine when you're up in the North. I very much miss Southern food. So we had brunch, I had my chicken and waffles, and after that, it was time for the scholarship recipient video. Now, the scholarship winners had already gotten their recognition, had already been told, notified that they were winners, but this was a recognition of, okay, now that we've already given our winners their money, what is it that they're doing with their lives? What is it that they are planning for their future? So they had pictures of the winners, and then on the side, they had information about where it is that they're going, what it is they're going to study, what their uh, job aspirations are. And you're like, oh, these, these little kids, they're gonna do amazing things one day. They're already doing amazing things. Some of them are going to be social workers. Some of them are going to uh, play football or basketball, but also want to study law while they're at school. Some of them are going to be doctors. And just being able to see the, and also one of them, was double minoring in Spanish and French. It's like, ooh, she don't want to be bilingual. She want to be trilingual. We like that. So they had a very wide range of futures and abilities and skills to make you say, oh, these, these young people are doing great things in their lives. And after that, we had another really, really amazing thing. We had a fashion show. The fashion show was great. It was by the new boutique in uh, the, sorry, the New Attitude Boutique. And it is in Dayton, Ohio, that is where it's situated, but they do have a website that they gave to all of us on little cards. And it was a fantastic fashion show. Some of them were models with the company and then some of them were models of people from the chapter. And not only was this event attended by people of AKA, we also had some Divine Nine brothers and sisters there as well, some people from the community. And we were all just going, ooh, ooh, because the pieces were amazing. So here are some of my personal favorites from the fashion show. <laughs>
Some people went and picked up their winnings from the uh, from the silent auction. Some people went and picked up their winning from the raffle. Some people went and did a little bit of shopping at the boutique or the little vendor's aisle that they had. And now we have some gifts that they had for people sitting at all of their um, place settings. So first they had us all some Ghirardelli chocolates. I love chocolate. So they had white chocolate with caramel filling and they also had milk chocolate with caramel brownie filling and they also had raspberry tangerines soap not soap hand sanitizer that's what this is called raspberry tangerine hand sanitizer for everyone sitting at their place settings and at the vsg table they had these and i thought oh I incorrectly thought that they were teas at first, like a packet of five tea satchel silk things. No, these are fragrance satchels. So my mom and I, because we were sitting together, we got two different ones. I got the lavender fragrance. Now, obviously you can't smell it, but it smells amazing. It is a lavender field, essentially. And my mom got the sea spray. There we go, at least a little bit. This light sometimes doesn't work when I wanna show stuff off. But this sea spray and lavender scent packets, so we can tuck them into our rooms and just be able to enjoy either a lavender or sea spray scent. On top of that, they also gave me a personal gift and it includes a gift card just giving me thanks for being there, traveling, coming and giving greetings as the international second vice president of the sorority, which I also need to say, when I wasn't sitting there during the program or filming things for the video, I was interacting with members of the sorority, taking pictures with you all, talking with you all. I was also able to talk with some of the new initiates of the Phi Psi Omega chapter. When I was going around, I saw them, they recognized me, and we just talked about what it means to be an AKA, how happy I am to have them in the sorority, and that I'm leaving my position in a month, and I wanna make sure that I am able to interact with all of the members that I can. So, thank you very much, Phi Psi Omega Chapter, for the amazing hospitality. You did an amazing job on your event as well, and I look forward to the rest of my time that I have in office. This was an honor to be invited, and I will see you in the next video.
Bye.